hi everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hi i'm jennifer i make beginner friendly beading tutorials and today's tutorial is gonna be a quick and easy one we're gonna learn how to tack our pouch into this beaded bag i made earlier if you haven't seen it please go check it out let's get on with today's tutorial To start, you'll need a pouch. This is a custom made pouch. I had my sister, who is a tailor, make it for me because I don't really know much about sewing. I had her make the pouch 10 inches wide, but the original size of the purse was 8 inches wide because more is better than less. The next thing you'll need is your beading needle. These needles in particular are very, very thin thinner than your usual needles okay so you want to look out for beading needles in particular next thing you need is your fishing line i'll be using 0.25 millimeters it's like very very light too and lastly your scissors to begin the actual work you want to take your pouch and fit it into the main bag adjust that properly like i said earlier the pouch of this bag is 10 inches wide while the main bag is about 8 inches wide so you're going to tuck in the excess by the side there just tuck it in okay then we're going to start from where the zipper ends adjust that to fit the width of the bag and this is what you should have next thing you want to do is add your fishing line to your needle make sure it's long enough to go all around your bag then you'd also tie the end as well to begin the tacking process you want to unzip the pouch okay adjust that right into the bag right at the corner of your bag you want to pass your needle through the pouch but make sure it's below the zip line okay you would pierce in your needle and draw it out next you would go into that bead right on the edge that bead close to it draw that out next thing you want to do is pierce the needle back into the pouch but very close to that first bead Track that out. Mm -hmm. So that is the first step. That seems quite easy, yeah? So this is what you want to repeat all around the bag. Let's go again. Very close to the next bead, you want to pierce the needle into the pouch. Alright, it comes out at the other side. Ah, be careful of the tangles because your fishing line is very long it might get tangled next thing you want to do is go into the next bead there pass it through the bead okay then close to the bead again you want to pierce your needle back into the pouch very easy to do and this is what we have all right, you want to keep this step going. This is the only thing you need to know to complete this tacking process. But I will need to tell you that whenever you are doing this, always be mindful of where you pass your needle through. Like I said earlier, you should pass it directly below the zip line. If the pouch gets higher, you need to adjust it should be directly below the zip line okay because that will make your work even and very neat so just keep this step going remember you go into the pouch out of the pouch into another bead into the pouch into another bead so that is what you should do until you finish the bag all right let's go I am on the final part of my tacking process and to finish that up I'm just going to create a loop then I'm going to close that in that is to make the stitches tighter I would repeat that three to four times to make sure the stitches are very tight 
then I will cut out the excess fishing line with the scissors and we are finally done. This is what your work should look like. Let's see if the zipper works. And yeah, it works perfectly fine. So your work should be as neat as this. Pro tip to remember whenever you're tacking your pouch is to tack it below the zip line. You do not want to tack it on the body of the pouch because you don't want your pouch to show out of your bag. It should be right inside your bag and it should be tacked neatly like this. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please do not forget to like and subscribe or share with friends who might find it helpful. If you need help or assistance along the way, let me know on my Instagram at bidwithjenny. Okay, I'll be always there to help you out. Alright, I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.